Hey guys, today we're going to be canning green beans. We're going to be doing the hot pack versus raw pack. I'm going to do at least one jar, I believe, in the raw pack, and the rest of them I'm going to do with the hot pack. And we're going to talk about the differences in both. Here is a bald blue book. There are several of these different years. I have three of them. The general information is the same. Some of the recipes may be different in each one, but overall, every bald book has the same time for processing. Um, we're going to talk about raw pack versus hot pack. All right, for green beans, if you raw pack, you um, of course you have to pick your beans, snap them, clean them, all that. We've got them in pieces about an inch and a half to two inches maybe. That's the first step. You get them clean. For raw packing, you simply take a hot jar, pack them in, put one teaspoon of salt in it and clean your top, cap it, and process it for 25 minutes. So we're talking about a quart here. If you were doing pints, it would be 20 minutes. For hot pack, I have water boiling here. I have a basket that I've got full of green beans, and we're going to put it into the hot water, set a timer. I'm going to back it off to three because I don't like to go as long as it says on the process when you're blanching. Mainly I want the color blanched in. We found that with potatoes because if you go 10 minutes with potatoes, your potatoes are nearly done and then you process them, you have mashed potatoes in a jar. So green beans, I, I don't know if you can see this, but they're really, really green right now, looking awesome. And I'm gonna leave them for another minute and I'm going to put them in a bowl over here and we're going to pack them hot in the jar. Again, one teaspoon of salt. Add your hot green beans, your hot boiling water, and you do not use this water. You have separate water, like I have over here, to go in it. And you pack your salt, your water, clean your jar, top, cap it, process 25 minutes for quarts, 20 minutes for pints. So we're going to work with this. And we're going to mark the one that we do raw pack. And then we're going to see the difference in the colors once they're processed and see if there is a difference between raw pack versus hot pack and green beans. It's been three minutes and we're going to take them out. I'm going to put them in this stainless pan here. And you see the color, this beautiful color here. That's what you're wanting to lock in the color. And we'll get the next ones going. I have this handy kitchen jig for those that escaped out. It's not many, but some decided to escape out. And I do not want them cooking in my pot. Okay, those will be ready. And the next one's going in. And you see the dull color start changing. You see the difference in the beans once they've been uh, heated for three minutes? These are kind of dull looking. These are a vibrant bright green. Okay, so we're going to raw pack our first jar and mark it. I keep my jars in hot water in the back. Swapped out one for the other. So this one's hot. We're adding non-iodized salt. One teaspoon. We're adding our raw pack green beans. These have not been blanched. These are just raw. Kind of fill it up, kind of push it down a little bit. You don't want to bust a jar, so you have to be kind of careful. We're going to add boiling water to this jar.
And we went it up to that bottom rim there, right there. We're going to take a stick and kind of debubble a little bit. This works pretty good here. Actually, it's a chopstick. Okay, so no more bubbles coming. We're going to wipe this. And I'm going to put a cap, a lid, a flat, line up the ball with the ball here for Danny. That way we know which one it is. So the one with the X is going to be our raw pie. Okay, now all the rest of the jars, quart jars, are going to be filled hot pack. It holds seven quarts, so we're going to do six hot pack. One teaspoon of salt, our hot green beans in our hot jar. And the color is beautiful when you blanch them like this. And blanching will allow you to put a few more in a jar than you can raw pack. And I have this rubberized mat that I'm putting here. That helps with bumping them down. We're going to add water. the bottom rim here, same as before. Take some of the bubbles out. Okay, I don't see any more bubbles coming. Clean the top. Be honest with you, after adding hot water to the uh, raw pack, both of them look exactly the same in the jar. Okay, we have seven jars here. One is marked with an X that is raw packed, the other six hot packed. Right now, you can't tell the difference after adding hot water to the raw pack. So, we'll see when they come out. We're going to process them 25 minutes. We'll check them when they come out of the canner. Okay, so now we are taking off the weight. Uh, the little pressure thing went down. We're opening it. I'm going to put my lid over here. Always turn it away from you so the steam doesn't get you in the face. We're going to take the jars out and put them over here on this to let them cool. And we're going to see if it looks any different between our raw pack and our hot pack. This is a hot packed one. Alright, this one is the raw pack. Okay, I do notice one difference. You see at the bottom with the raw pack, a lot of water, everything's pushed up to the top. With the um, hot pack, you see 
the beans are all the way down, everything isn't pushed to the top. So that is one noticeable difference. All right, so color-wise, I don't notice any color difference, but I do notice all six jars with the hot pack are the same. The one with the raw pack does have all the beans floating to the top where the others did not, so that would be a noticeable difference. So thank you guys for joining us here today on Deep, at Deep South Homestead for the raw pack versus um, hot pack on the green beans. Couple of noticeable differences, but overall, raw packing's easier, faster, but I think with them floating to the top, I will stick with the um, hot pack, and we'll talk to you guys later from Deep South Homestead.